Sharing the good tonight, one local teacher is using books to help her students get through the pandemic, especially since they may not be going back to class anytime soon. But she also has her eyes set on a much bigger goal. Noelle Lashley went to Riverside Elementary today to learn more about this project and got her story. Noelle. Katie Wood is a big believer in the power of books, and she wants to give these to as many kids as she can because she believes the world inside of these pages can help them face the world we're in right now. Oh. First grade teacher Katie Wood is here to deliver a special gift. It's part of a project she started two years ago with several other Riverside Elementary teachers. They all wanted to share a love of reading with their students, so they raised money to get their classrooms free books through Scholastic. We just started by getting um, each one of our first graders sponsored so they could get a book a month. And then um, I wanted to do it again this year, but I didn't know how it was going to look. It looks bigger than ever because of COVID-19. Oh, this year, Wood is going beyond her classroom. She's trying to raise enough money to get books for all 400 kids at Riverside Elementary. Kids like Colton and Levi Stos. The pandemic and the uncertainty surrounding it are hard on them, and reading helps them forget for a little while. I never take in the fact that I'm actually reading words because I have the image in my head of what's happening and stuff. It's a special gift for them and their parents. I just couldn't believe that a teacher would take her time on her summer with her family to do something for these kids and something that they're always going to remember. Superintendent Ken Russell agrees. He knows the project will help kids polish their reading skills, but the best part is knowing someone cares. To me, the magic is really in the relationship between Katie and the students. I mean, it's that human connection that brings empathy and love to this tough situation, and that's what our kids need. As of Friday, Wood has raised about $2,500 for her project. If you want to help her get books for all of the kids at Riverside Elementary, I'll have how you can donate on our website. For now, reporting in the newsroom, Noelle Lashley, back to you. Noelle, thank you. It's a pretty awesome thing to do. For a closer look at more back-to-school resources for students and parents and deadlines for the upcoming school year, just go to our website, khq.com.